So, I don't remember about go for my camera and face up question at you channel in the juice away. The initial one, I'll try to block the you and not a change charge you for no. I'm a little penny, not a child. The name of the channel, I don't know. I'll try to channel my auntie, my PD, which are the computer ICD media, which may end up you doing it. Maybe you can sell a few pie. Okay, so the name to know about India, the India, I esteem Dilani, India, the India, which are favorite high. So, to me. Jadi nak ikut ni juga usia apa nak di ICD mabai ni lah, ni pari orang nari mesti dia ni kau ni pasti macam ni dia tu tu usia ni tu kita bawa pergi kota apa ni, okay? Jadi nak ikut ni tu tisu kita bawa. I'm from India. I'm a student at RIC. I'm studying Information and Communication Technology here. Let me share with you today what I learned by specializing in Information and Communication Technology. Why do you choose to study information and communication technology? Because since I was a child, I was really passionate about programming. And also, the ICT is more related to business in technology. So I want to do my own startup one day and become an entrepreneur. So this subject was the most suitable one for me than engineering and everything. OK. So what do you have to study like when you specialize ICT? Actually, you have a lot of options to go, like you can be data scientist, you can go for AI. Actually, the, you can go to any field under computer science. And also, the main point is business. It's integrated with business, so you can be like an entrepreneur too. Okay, so could university provide your expedition? Yes, actually, because here, processes are really focused on like practical learning. Actually, in India, it's a lot of paperwork, just theory exam. Here, it's actually open book exam, too. <laughs> That's a point. But, you know, uh, in the real world, who goes for a closed book, right? You need to have the knowledge of searching. That's the main important thing for a computer science student. So, actually, the university focused on practical, real-life application learning. That's why I like it here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next question is, how, how is your student life? in Thailand? Oh, it's been great, you know. <laughs> also the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, about um, the university support, actually our university supports a lot. Like even if you have even the minor or tribal problems, the university is always there to uh, back you up. And about the international team, they are actually really kind, accountable to you, and they actually um, look for every step that you are having problems, and they do their maximum effort to solve it. And actually, I'm applying for exchange, and they've been really helpful in getting me to one of the top five uh, university in Korea. So you already got the chance to HA? Yeah, I've, I've been nominated to Inha University. So when will you go to Korea? Uh, probably by February, mm -hmm. when my semester starts. Mm -hmm. So that's the really good point of the university. Like, they can provide the HM program, not only in China, but also in other countries in the world. And the partnering universities are really good. Yeah, they also help you like get mm. the chance to HA, right? Yeah. OK, that's good, really good. Okay, so next question is like, what are the activities that you have to do in university? Um, in university, you get to do a lot of works like, uh, even like team building works, like um, minor project activities, like you have to create games. And then there is like individual projects where you have to hone your own skill by, but your advisor is always there to help you. 
Mm-hmm. And I've been uh, doing research, and my advisors been really kind, and they've been really helpful to me all the way. Wow. So, by the way, where are your friends and teachers are from? My uh, professors are from China, uh, America, Russia, and Thai. And my friends, oh, they are from all over the world. All over the world. <laughs> Westerners, Asians, everyone. Okay. Uh, next question, like, what are the career opportunities like after your graduation with ICD? As I told before, you can go to any field under computer science. Actually, uh, in IT industry, they actually request uh, ICT students a lot nowadays because we are the application focused computer science student. Engineering is like more of development, but we are using the application that already exists to make something new. So it's more business focused and application focused. So now the demand for ICT students are really high. That's a really good major to choose for career. Okay. If okay, you let's are in love with computer science. <laughs> of course. Okay. So who are suitable to study ICT? What kind of students should study ICT? I would say one who are passionate for tech industry, who want to be a startup innovator one day, or you want to work on fields like data science or AI. It's really suitable. The thing about this major is it's relaxing, but still, it's like um, really informative. In engineering and all, you get a lot of pressure, right? But here, um, in this major, it's not that pressurable, but it's actually in high demand. So it's kind of golden opportunity. Of course. <laughs> but you, you so like ICD have a lot of uh, job demand, and like mm-hmm. what kind of like career you what you choose? For me, it's AI. AI? Yeah. I'm actually working on reinforcement learning now. Even though I'm in my first year, my professors are really good. So they are actually helping me, especially my department head, Dr. So- uh, Tots and I. Um, he is actually, uh, his field is machine learning, so he is actually helping me. Even though I'm in first year, I'm able to do research in reinforcement like machine learning. Wow, that's really great. Okay, so what are your challenges when you study in Thailand? Um, mostly are uh, visa related because we have to go for 90 days reporting <laughs> every time. And like, if you miss even one day, you get to pay, uh, pay the fine. For sure. So, <laughs> yeah, actually, apart from that, uh, there is, isn't much challenges here because people are really good, I would say. I met a lot of people, but Thai people are the best. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Won't uh, you agree? Yeah, of course, for sure. Okay, so one more question is like, if the student from other country want to study ICT, is there any scholarship like in this university? The university actually provides 50% scholarship. You will get an interview. If you get um, passed that, you will be awarded a 50% scholarship that, um, that's actually pretty good, I think, yeah. because um, we actually have to pay around like uh, close to 92 baht, so 50% scholarship is really good. Okay, so like you didn't have any scholarship from the university? Yeah, right? no, I'm actually a self-funded student. Oh, okay, so like you paid 92,000 for one semester, and how many subjects did you take? I take around seven subjects. Seven, yeah. seven subjects for 21 credit, right? Yeah. Okay. Not 21. Uh, I think it's, yeah, 21, yeah. 21. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, we have three credit for one subject, and, like, then uh, for seven subject we have 21 credit. For one credit, we have to pay, like, 3,000. That's when, like, uh, half uh, tuition payment uh, is 92,000 plus, like, sub fee. Okay. And like the maximum credit we can take for one semester is 22. 22. Yes. Okay, that's really great. And like if we take more uh, courses, more subjects, and so if we get like more credit, like we can graduate more early, right? Uh, actually, uh, you can if you kind of go like in summer you get to uh, have like nine credit max. 
So if you go for max credit every semester, I think you can finish it by um, two and a half year because the total credit for passing is 126. 126. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think this is the end of my interview. And thank you so much, Neha, for joining my interview session. So I will upload this uh, on my YouTube channel and also Facebook page. So that like most of the Myanmar friends and other international friends have the chance to observe like what you have to learn in ICT. Hope okay. to see you all. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching my video to the end. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, uh -huh.